get a job on the stone. The daughter she got playing with daddy's gone. The parader in the graveyard that night. And everyone in town says Mr. Johnson ain't right. Everybody says Mr. Johnson ain't right. He just turned 45 and he was dead. He was younger than you when he shot off his head. There ain't no turning back once a trigger gets pulled. Well, things can go wrong down in old dusty road. If yeah, things can go wrong down in old dusty road. Thank you guys. Appreciate that. All right. Well, that was one off. I'm going to do a few songs off of the, the latest CD. I guess it's not that. N yeah, I did. I did. I brought it along. We, we got it. We got you all covered. I brought enough for two copies of Peace, as a matter of fact. And I've lived in a lot of areas over the years and a lot of the places I don't want to live anymore. Thought I'd write a song about it. I don't know if any of you have felt that way, but... Uh, and I suck at titles, so I called it I Don't Want to Live There Anymore. It was like this. I don't even want to remember you. 
Feels nice to be out of 105 degrees and 180 percent humidity we had this morning. 180. But we we, uh, we just played Green Hall uh, on on Monday, and uh, we, we had the four-piece band, and uh, we're actually thinking of getting out of the music business and going into weather reporting, and we thought we'd have like our own newscasters and uh, do it ourselves because you can be wrong all the time and it doesn't matter and you still get paid really well She's running low. She's pulling hard. I won't be home for a little while. Tank is running low. She's pulling hard. I won't be home for a little play one I, I wrote with my wife, Joy. I was, uh, I was working on a song, and uh, I kind of got stuck, and I was out in the back uh, uh, grilling some meat, and, uh, and uh, Joy got home, and, and uh, 
I got stuck, so usually when I get stuck, I just hand her the pen and paper and tell her to finish the song. And I get all the money because she doesn't have a publishing company or anything, so <laughs> it usually works out all right. But she only got about a verse, half a verse, maybe a full verse done, and then she threw it back at me and got stuck. <laughs> but uh, we wrote this song together, and the first time I played it, there was some people that knew us pretty well, and they were uh, they got done and going into the break, and they're going, "Are you guys having problems? Is there something going on?" I'm going, "No, no, it's just a song. It's just a song, man. Don't worry about it." This one's called "Do You Still Care." Keep slapping, there's holes in the floor But the rain broke the silence Just like before So I sat on the front porch And I poured me a drink And I'm not feeling sorry I just need time to think I tried to listen She tried to speak but all I could see was a tear on her cheek Like a hole in my heart leaking love out the door Gotta patch it up now before there ain't any lift anymore I know it's late, but I just had to ask Did you feed the dog and did you feed the cat? And do you still care anymore? Nothing changed, nothing lost, nothing is perfect, neither is love. Right or wrong, it don't matter at all, just leave it behind and move on down the road. It's getting late, now I'm going to bed, falling asleep. Just holding hands I reckon I didn't realize How far we had gone I thought that I knew But I guess I was wrong I know it's late But I just had to ask Did you feed the dog And did you feed the cat And do you still care anymore Thank you. So as uh, some of you know, I, uh, I grew up in a little small farm in town, southern Minnesota, and uh, it was a town of about probably 1,200 people. And in little small towns, everybody knows what everybody else is doing, you know? And so, uh, everybody knows pretty much everything. And so, I was going to go on a date one night with my girlfriend, which I thought anyway. And uh, I was about to head out the door, and my mother stopped me and she says, Where are you going? And I said, Well, uh, I'm going on a date with my girlfriend. And she goes, Oh, I don't think so. I think you guys have broke up. So this song goes out to all of my ex-girlfriends who broke up with me and didn't tell me but told everybody else in town, including my mother. It's the things I 
see all my sweet Jesus, I swear I find it hard to believe. Thought I heard it wrong the first time, seems everybody knows but me. I don't recall what I was doing the day you said goodbye. But I do remember saying you shouldn't be texting when you drive. Darling, oh darling, I guess you set your heart free. The only thing that's puzzling is the fact that everybody knows but me. Thank you. We're going to do the title track for the latest CD. I might have thought it along. You guys might have this one. I don't remember. I got flooded. That's when I was here. I might have just had that record. I might have just put it out, actually. That probably wasn't even an official release. So really, you have to buy it again, because you got it illegally. <laughs> October of 2020. I'm just going to come up here every October when it floods down there. right the jackson yeah i miss jackson i hope you're watching somewhere jackson somewhere in europe with gordy <laughs> Reaching out for something you can't grab and holding on to nothing you won't say. And time after time, it traps me like a fool. Please take what I hear, I bought it for you. I have no regrets, I wasted in vain. I have some cigarettes, they're all in your name. And the most that I have is the best I can do. 
but I'll love the town. I won't eat with you. Is there some secret place somewhere it don't have to end? Well, the car is all loaded. I'll see you again. said everything that I had to say I done what I do I didn't intend to stay the most that you had is a good friend where the car is all loaded I see you again There's some secret place somewhere it don't have to end. Where the car is all loaded, I see you again. Where the car is all loaded, I see you again. Thank you. Thanks for the beers, Joe. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this this next song for Ben. Because he's the only one in here probably that understand what I'm talking about. I wrote a song about my tractor. So it's a nine in. Mine is a nineteen forty nine in. Some people think this song is about my wife, but it's not. It's actually a love song to my tractor. And the nine in, you know, that set the bar, man. That was a good design. Well, the, well, all of those, the two and the eight in and the nine in, that, that set the bar for tractors, man, if you're into tractors. And, and Ben and I aren't. There ain't no spark left anymore we tried so hard we're gone so far and there she is out in the yard out in the rain out on the farm and there she is and all my love Nothing I will do to make it all back up to you. I worked you hard. I wasn't fair. What do I have to do to let you know I care? And there she is. She's a a bar, she raised a yield, with everything she can, she's a nine in. There ain't no spark left anymore, got up this morning, walked out the door, she was fine. 
yesterday. She started good, I treat her right like any farmer would. I set your points, I check your time, I change your oil, hope to make you mine. Maybe it's me, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's something else that I should have done. And there she is. She's an alien out in the field. She raised a bar. She raised a yield. Did everything she can. She's an alien. spark lift anymore she's getting fuel might be the core you try everything but you can't think of and it breaks your heart when she won't start and there she is she's a man in her class she raised a bar she kicks some ass did everything she can she's a nine in she's a nine in out in the field she raised a bar she raised a year did everything she can she's a nine She's a nanny. She's a nanny. She's a nanny. It might be about my wife. I haven't decided yet. Not sure. to know this guy in Austin played at the uh, Austin Outhouse for years and he'd go to my gigs and, and as a musician you're obliged to go to his gigs it's like going to people's funerals if you don't go to their funerals they won't go to yours but uh, I like some of his songs and uh, so this is one of his no longer with him. It's a Blaze Foley song called Play Pigeon. Ticket to ride. Gonna find that lady with two or three kids to sit down by her side. Right till the sun comes up and down around me about two or three times. Smoking cigarettes in the last seat. Try to add my cell phone to people I meet and get along with it all. Go down when people say yo. Sing a song with a friend. Change the shape that I'm in. I get back in the game and stop playing again. I'd like to stay, but I might have to go and start over again. Might go back down to Texas, might go to somewhere I've never been. Get up in the morning, stay at the night, and I won't have to go home. It used to be alone. 
the words of this song Start singing again Blaze Foley. <coughs> Y'all talk amongst yourselves, man. It's so quiet.
team and no dose will keep me hanging on. I dive in a rig, roll back, smoke all night long. The white lines and the starry sky ain't nothing I can haul tonight. That's why I sing this true driving song. Try another new song out on you. This next song, uh, well, I kind of wrote it because everywhere I've ever lived, there's always some guy down the street. I mean, I've lived in Florida, I've lived in Connecticut, I've lived in Minnesota, everywhere it's ever been. There's always some guy down the street selling marijuana, you know, and. Uh, Everybody always seemed to like that guy. Never really got in trouble. And uh, it just occurred to me that, man, there's always that guy down the street, you know? And uh, I'm sure that doesn't happen around this neck of the woods at all, um, you know? And, uh, and we're, we're, we're a drug-free band, actually. We're we're like Roger Marin in that aspect, you know? Clean living, that's the life for us. We try to, we use Roger Marin for our model. I'm just kidding, Roger. But anyway, I played this song in a, in a bar after I wrote it. This was a few months ago. And and about six guys came up to me. This was actually at the Triple Crown in San Marcos, which is no longer there. They're going to rebuild. Just haven't found the right spot yet. But uh, uh, I played this song in there. And, and I got done, and we were taking a break. And about six guys came up and said, we really appreciate if you stop playing that song about me. So this is called The Guy Down the Street. <laughs> on his feet. He didn't care to own a car. He didn't eat no meat. He didn't think about tomorrow. He didn't worry about yesterday. He got down the street. He had a big old garden and a long greasy head. He said he'd never trust a hippie. He didn't seem to care. His eyes smoking marijuana. He lives down the street.
Let's call the guy down the street. That'll be on the next record, along with the tractor scene. It's whatever you want it to be about, man. I used to say it was about my wife, and then I kind of put it into more like, is it about the wife or the tractor? And, and both of those got me in trouble, and so I just decided maybe I shouldn't say anything at all unless somebody knows what a 9N Ford tractor is. This is still, we're still under debate on this, actually. Let's do, um, let's do one for the vets, man. Yeah, man. This song was uh, this song was featured on a uh, compilation CD a few years ago called Voices of a Grateful Nation, and the the whole idea behind the project was um, to help out uh, wounded vets that were coming back, and uh, it was successful, and that morphed into Soldier Songs and Voices, which Dustin Welch is doing now, and and Adrian and I help out with that. But this was a song I wrote, oh, this is probably back around 9-11 or something, and, and I was looking at it, you know, and everything was pretty bleak, but I was looking at it like, how did Woody Guthrie go through the Dust Bowl and depression and then write, this land is your land, you know, or was he just being sarcastic? It's hard to say, but uh, so I thought, man, we need another positive song like that, so... This is called Fences, and this goes out to all of our vets that are still working and the ones that have come by. And I know it's election season, and I probably shouldn't say this, but uh, I don't care about either one of those parties because neither one of those parties cares about me. But the one thing that is a fact is when vets come back, they need help, and they need as much help as we can give them as far as I'm concerned. So for me, it's the least that I can do is to help these guys out. I can't see the sound so 
all the rivers and the rivers. Now I can't tell you this all the women care. And I can't believe just how much we all can both. Take a short little break right now, and uh, we'll be back in about uh, 10, 15 minutes, right? Thank you. All right. Yeah, we got T-shirts and CDs and all that stuff. We got this tip jar. Tip jar. CDs. Or T-shirts. Tip jar. We got an email thing going on. I don't know if anybody does that anymore, you know. I carry the thing around, but I notice Adam Carroll don't carry his anymore. No one does it anymore. It's like, is the email, like, out of date? Like, I'm that old? That's gone? They don't do that anymore. That was for old people. I don't know how to run it. I have one, but you can sign it up, and I, and I know I can go, like, follow but i don't know the hashtag thing and all of the other little symbols i mean it mine didn't come with a rule book you know with the uh, instructions i'll figure it out one day we'll be right back Sounding all right, huh?
you can. But if you break it, you bought it. Is it working? Maybe it won't work. You could set it down once. No, it's not. It's it's over here. Oh. That switches it? Oh. Here, put it over here so you can get Adrian in there. Yeah, that's weird. Well, if it's a pain, don't worry about it. I'd rather have it on the other disc than that. Assume so. How about how about millionaire? What? back I think some of you guys are aware of a guy named David by both he's got two CDs to buy both but I played this song at a house concert in uh Princeton, Cuervo Wakers House concert. That's a pretty good, pretty good one. And uh, David was leaving, and I and I have this new song. It's called "One Day I Was a Millionaire." David told me he needed the lyrics for this, so here you go. By both, here's the lyrics. <laughs> Sort of a f flood related song. One day it was me and day. Next day I was. I guess it's like they say. Easy come, easy go. One day you're on top of the world, the next day you're pretty cool. One day it was a millionaire at the Wicked Wagon. I grew up with the rich kids on the poor side of town. It never really did bother me. I was glad to be around. I shouldn't be playing where the dogs I'm just a providing fool. One day it was a half a dog at the door I go. One day he thought it was a bird. Friends thought it was a joke. Then I thought I could fly. So at the window I go. Thought I was an echo, but sometimes you never know. One day, flying 
told the class that I'm dying all. Well, I died with a conscience when I hit the ground. I never thought that I really could fly, but I tossed it around. And I was brought up to work for you till the sun goes down. I never really said, go, go away. Oh, it's a really small town. Got it all figured out. We need to work like a dream. Then you found out that the best laid was really worse than it seemed. You're told to make a lot of money. You don't even try to you know. One day it was a millionaire at the window wide. One day it was a millionaire. Thank you. Yep. That's sort of a flood related song. And so uh I guess it was well this is October twenty sixteen. I guess a year ago? No, it seems like more like a year and a half I've been working on my house. When did it flood? Oh, it's because the first flood happened Memorial Weekend of 2015 and then we got hit again and a lot of the people on my street were already uh done fixing their houses up and then uh in october it flooded again which was not cool yeah we had school buses in the trees and everything no kids on them though there were tubing buses and so uh there was one one family in Wimberley, I don't know if you guys have all heard of this, but there was a, a wife and two kids, and uh, the husband actually survived, but they were staying at a cabin, and I think they were from Corpus or Port A or something like that, and they had a little place in Wimberley, and, and they were just having a vacation on Memorial Weekend, and, and that water came really fast, and... Um, they actually, I live in Martindale, Texas, which is probably, I don't know, 15, 20 miles from Wimberley. And um, the lady and the two kids, it lifted the house up and they went down the river in the house and none of them survived. And uh, it took me a while to put this song together. This is called Big Water. The old man is snoring It's coming down now like dogs and cats And in the blink of an eye Now the river was high Time to get out while I still can Well it came from the hills And they told us the will We don't take kindly to others' advice and Now the river's top full There ain't no way to go You'd be lucky I saw a house floating by with two kids and a wife He wanted all to be just a bad dream She said her last words that was all that was heard it Was a flood of 2015 Well it finally went down back into the ground we just got home a couple days back And when you open your door and there 
there's mud on the floor There ain't no way to hang up your head And you could tell by the debris Out in the front yard Who made it and who can look back In the old timers said They'd seen big floods before But they ain't never saw water like that Saw a house floating by with two kids and a wife He wanted all to be just a bad dream She said in the last words that was all that was heard It was a fool of 2015 They're searching on horseback out in the fields. They only find pieces of memories. And like the bomb just went off, everything is lost. It ain't something you want to see. So a house floating by with two kids and a wife. You want it all to be just a bedroom. She said her last words, it was all that was heard It was a fool, a 2015 Now they're searching on horseback, out in the fields They only find pieces of memories Like the bomb just went off Everything is lost, it ain't something that you want to see Well, they found her down the stream, but they ain't found the kids And it don't look like they will It ain't nobody's fault when this shit hits the fan The water rushes down here It ain't nobody's fault when this shit hits the fan I forgot to explain part of that. Now, when the when the house was going down the river with the wife and the two kids she actually had her cell phone and she was talking to her sister saying goodbye to her family and everything and that's really the end of the song but uh all right i'll i'll cheer it up a little bit but, uh, sorry about that Something fun. How about uh, how about um, yeah, man. <clears throat> this is one off of our first CD. I guess that was about 15, 16 years ago. He's actually been playing with me for 20 years, probably. <laughs> he was playing with me before the first record. I don't know. I never asked him to be in the band either. He played on the first record. It was this other mutual friend of ours. Well, I know a guitar player, and he brought him in and played on the first record. And I knew Adrian before that because we had done gigs together in Austin, separate bands. And he uh, goes, yeah, I got this guy, Adrian Schooler. He can come play guitar on the record. I go, that, that's fine. That's fine, man. I'll pay him. I'll pay him. And that was... Uh, that was probably close to 20 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> yep. But anyway, this is a song called You and the Wind. Try to paint a better picture 
job that we have taken a pretty clear thing. They cut out the screens, smash the windows too. And if you went home, they probably had the way with you. Pretty king, nothing left to play with. Everything with all we ever needed. Come, 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 come. Pretty king, this neighborhood is going down this time. We were moving on. Question, the boys out on the beat, not the kind of thing you listen for on the sand of the street. But boys, when boys, the boys are turning their faces to the ground. Put your thinking caps on, pillows, while we take a ride downtown. Not a leg to play with, everything we thought we ever needed. Down, 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 down. This neighborhood is going down, it's time we are moving out. The fingerprints and the pull of holes of you and me a bit They ran to set the cover, make the raspberry jam Left a note thanking us, sign your neighbor Sam Break in, and let the play be everything with how we ever need it Go down, 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 break in This neighborhood is going down this time We were moving out Thank you. All right. Let's see. We'll do like. Oh, I know. I know what we'll do. I know how to do this. I know how to do this. Let's do some farming music. Farming. We're going to do some farming music for a little while. Farm it up. It's what I'm most comfortable with. This is a song about uh, some guys who lived down the gravel road where I grew up. And uh, they actually used to, uh, the, this guy's son was kind of my mentor. He was a few years older than I was, and he had a black Les Paul and a, and a twin reverb. Nice. And a, a chicken coop that was insulated <laughs> with a wood-burning stove in it. And... His dad would let us rehearse out in the chicken coop. And chicken coop ain't too bad once you get some of that smell out, but that takes a little while. But like I tried I tried to do this in a pig barn once on, on my farm where I lived and uh, and that's a lot tougher, man. That don't ever go away, it seems, you know. So it's pretty much unbearable. So I had to join this band in order to get to the chicken coop. It's <laughs> the way that it worked and and anyway, these guys went out of business back in the late 70s, early 80s, farming when the, you know, the, uh, they were all supposed to expand. Here's a loan. And a lot of these guys would mortgage the whole farm. And these guys went out of business, but uh, I'm pretty grateful to them all. This is a song called Sentimental Guy. Talk for hours 
One night it bought the whole damn place around Third generation turf farm When was the word that came to mind Knew another year of drought of killing But it was thought everything would work out fine All the bankers let her make it cry She's got all the names for You're the son of me Sometimes he'd say he'd found the answer He'd get real quiet, whisper in my ear Said he usually come up empty-handed But that's just the way the answers work right on air Ain't never let her see him lonely She never saw the bankers let her make him cry Canadian Windsor in his hand We'd sit and drink and talk for hours Till one night he burned his old place to the ground He never let her see him lonely She never saw the bankers let her make it Sun with the wind, with the price of fuel, it's hard to make farming pay. You see the sun in the city with a big light tower, it smokes down to bigger than the silos on the farm. We'll put you time in, we'll take care of you. You see the tummy with the size of pearls, do you want to test go through? And how we go through? Looks like this train is headed right on the track. Sick and tired of watching the fact that the other thing is gonna be the lift It's crumb the files and the rows and smoke stacks Sorrows and smoke stacks Tornadoes and rain Empty mats will still have another plan to man First book through here like a dial that's hit the floor
Both sons head off to the corporate wars and everything seemed to work out fine. The one day some guy stepped across the union line. And the way he handled himself like a city folks do, he's looking for a job and going back to school. Just like a small town, the factory shut down. Well, it makes me cry and start to shake when I think about the democracy. My long arms of capitalism around me. I guess everything feeds like everything has to launch you. Don't you can't come to me. I'm the only thing with the silos and smoke stays. Silos and smoke stays. Tornadoes and rain. Empty hands will still have another hand in hand. Those bullets turn you. to this is such a good song um, so we've been we've been helping out Dustin Welch a bit down at Cheatham Street and and helping these soldiers write songs and teach him a little guitar and whatnot and uh, <coughs> this next song was written by a Vietnam vet and um, I think uh, a, a Part of the song is truly told me, and some of it he made up, and this and that. But it was all from research from his friends and whatnot. And uh, this guy's name is David Shunk. He's a really good guy. And this is one of the songs that he came up with. And um, this is a product of the Soldier Songs and Voices and uh, Voices of a Grateful Nation thing. This is a song called Dead Soldiers. Dead soldiers, dead soldiers, empty bottles of beer in a neon lit ballroom where it's too loud to hear. There's a guy at a bar stool sitting alone. Sinking back, what does it mean to be home? Dead soldiers, dead soldiers, lined up on the bar. In a mirror behind it is a face stitched by war. And he stares, and that mirror remembers a day when his friends died around him in a world far away. Dead soldiers, dead soldiers, all sprawled in a ditch. Who's hostile? Who's friendly? You couldn't tell which. He'd been watching his sector. His mind didn't stray. He was on high alert, and he had been on day. Then he thought he saw trouble, saw trouble ahead. But if he was wrong, there'd be innocent dead. And he saw, and he knew, but couldn't move, he couldn't speak. No time to be slow, no time to be weak. Was it seconds, 
was alone, never could tell. He was frozen in time in his own private hell. In a flash, it was over. His war was all done. His friends now dead soldiers. His pain just begun. Now his world's closing in. In his room, he's alone. He won't answer the door. He won't answer the phone. There's just one thing left to kill all the pain. It's time to find peace. Put a bullet in the brain. There's a helmet on a rifle with a black bayonet. His dog tags and boots. The scene is all set. There's a flag on a casket. It's lowered on down. The bugle blows taps. They fire 21 rounds. soldier, dead soldier, the bugle blows taps, he got home from the war, but he never come back. Nice. Sorry about that, that's the <laughs> truth though, that's the truth, those guys come home, you know, and it's, uh, they need more help, man, they need more help. And if those two frickin' parties could do something, but they just can't seem to get anything done. No. If anybody should be getting those salaries and those insurance compensations, it should be every single vet that's ever served, in my opinion. That's right. They got enough to split it up. That's right, man. On a lighter note, Nice water. All right. We won't get much more of a chance to play this song this year. This is a song called Ice Water.
Time for another one, right? All right. We'll do two more. Sure, man. We'll do. Um, we should play a friend song. All right. Which one? And then we'll finish it up. Big with Turtle Dove. Do the Little Buffalo. Yeah. What key is that in? I knew you'd forget one B. day. No, it's in B. Mm. All right. All right. We'll do a couple here. Let's see. for this song. I saw Big Jigger Henry to Turner Jim rolling into town he was riding on a ring so their tires by themselves a couple of cases of bread. They got there a little too late so they broke down the door and shot up the place now everybody's going crazy Restless nights and endless fights A hundred miles an hour in your head nights Fiddles and accordions Tears and steel guitar Hits the tar, people shack Whiskey smack Two pounds left on a five-pound rack So the body round here's gonna kick it And that's for sure Thank you. 
churchyard, the man lives ringing. I can hear the choir sing. Dogs are barking, sirens are wailing. Held on to the edge of town. Radio says the whole thing's over. But there ain't much that we don't know. Because tomorrow morning, the whole thing's So this this next song we're gonna do this was influenced by a 65 year old lady in Lockhart, Texas, a couple of years ago stealing round bells. Now I don't know if I have to explain this to you guys, but in Dallas and Fort Worth I have to explain what a round bell is. Unfortunately, and uh, yeah, I. And I tell them it's like a great big bowl of shredded wheat with no milk in it. That's all that it is. And anyway, this lady, now this influence, the song was all. Uh, but she was stealing three round bells a night, and she got sentenced. She did finally get caught. And the cop that caught her was a, a deputy in uh, Caldwell County. And I met him at a party a little while after this record came out. And he goes, hey, Mark, I, I heard you did a, a song about my bust. And I go, dude, I don't know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> and uh, just trying to play it safe. And he goes, no, that lady that was stealing the round bills, I got her. I got her. And I go, oh, all right, yeah. And he goes, hey, have you made a video of that song? I go, no, I haven't. I, I wasted all my money on this other video, and I don't have any more money. And he goes, well, if you make another video, I got squad car video, video tape you could have on this lady. I'm going. So she got sentenced to pay back the money that she owes to the farmer for stealing the bales. That's Colwell County for you. That's why she was stealing the bales. She doesn't have any money. <laughs> Needless to say, the farmer was pretty pissed off about the whole thing. But anyway, like a week or so later, I was also reading in the local paper, there was a hired man that worked for this rancher for several years. Everybody at the stockyard knew this guy. And so he took a load of calves in or something and... and uh, an auction and all, and it all sold. And they, s and he goes, "Hey, you're supposed to make the check out to me this time, because I'm supposed to go cash it and take the money to the to the farmer." And so they did, and I never saw the guy again. And then it was spreading all the way up into Wyoming. And then I started thinking about, man, I need a cattle rustling song of some sort. And it gets interesting though when you. Uh, if you're not from the north and you're driving a, a semi or something like that with diesel, and you have the wrong fuel in, that fuel will start to gel in the fuel injectors. If you don't have number one fuel in it, it'll shut you right down, you know. So I got to explain that because that's in the song as well. There's some mechanics to this song. I'm more, in fact, we were talking about this on the way up. I'm more of an implement songwriter, actually. You know, the, there's plenty of love songs out there there's nothing about gelling fuel and stuff and round bells no one writes about that stuff it's just not you know it's it's hard to sell those songs you know these days especially to tv and 
eHarmony and stuff like that. It's uh, I should approach Eat Harmony maybe. I should uh, approach approach E Harmony and say I got this great gel song. Yeah, I got this great gel song. <laughs> you immediately go, no, 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 we're not that kind of place. <laughs> All right. Well, I got... Uh, <laughs> y'all, y'all don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. Ben Bulmer recently got a song on eHarmony, I guess. Yeah, for some, some, guy, some guy heard him at a gig and, hey, I like that song. We could use that. And the next thing you know, it's on this eHarmony commercial. Like, oh, that is so freaking perfect for you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is a song called 50 Head. again Adrian Schooler there thank you guys so much for coming out tonight we really appreciate it we'll try to get back sooner maybe next time thanks again
What song would y'all like to hear? Blowing up the dam. Oh, yeah, we know that. Yep, song about the Tennessee Valley Authority. Just because that was before, never mind. I can't can't go there. I was going to go political. Because that was before Donald Trump's time. <laughs> Eminent domain. I think they'll build a parking lot. Now they used to loot. They used to move lakes in Minnesota. The farmers would do it though themselves. They would get together, and if they knew where good soil was and where bad soil was, and like, you know what, you know what, you guys, we should put this lake over here, and they would move a lake like twenty miles. I don't know. I don't know. Now, how do you expect we do that, Fred? <laughs> Well, we'll have to get signed Jake out here with the back hole. <laughs> we have uh, up north in the fields, there's a lot of tile lines for draining the fields, you know, because if you get too big of washouts, man, you got, you got an acre of ground that's going to get washed out in the spring when the snow's melting and you should be planting it. So we put drain lines in all the fields. And then we have these big drainage ditches that uh, they'll go for miles through the county, and the county maintains the ditches. But that way you can, you can when you've got low spots, you can get in planting earlier in the spring, and the ground's really rich and saturated, you know, and it works out pretty good. But I know people don't like to hear about that in the south, but that's the way we did it up there.
crazy fool to sit and wait so calm and cool and watch the water slowly rise through these tired and world-worn eyes they don't know that late tonight I'm gonna plug that dam with dynamite guys so much appreciate it man thanks ben and alicia joe susan all you guys thanks for coming out man it's been too long i'm coming to wings and strings next year whatever one that is i'm coming damn it i need a cancer yeah that's what i need four days Didn't the Romans used to go like, didn't they used to go like two months? Well, we'll, we'll but you will. 